Hello, hello, hello. How's everybody doing today? I'm out and about. Already driving for DoorDash. Sitting here at one of the hot spots. It's Mi Paloma, a Mexican restaurant. One of the locals' um, restaurants that uh, is well known around here to have some of the best Mexican food around. Just a plug for them there, those of you that don't know. I wanted to do a quick video about Summer's case and everything that's going on with Fred Hill and the statements that he's made and something that I wanted to remind everybody about. So, a lot of people is asking, why now? Why is Fred coming out with this now after two years? Well, we're going to go into my opinion. So, let me give my little youtube -y disclaimer. All claims and all statements made within this video are my opinion solely and alleged and for entertainment purposes only. Now that the legal crap's out of the way, let me say this. It's beneficial at this moment for Fred to make those statements and especially to make them to the police and then to make them to a YouTuber because that's leverage. If you need a plea bargain and you're trying to get out a jail free card, now's the time to pull that you've had stuck in your hat for a minute. And in my personal opinion, it seems like he may have some prior knowledge could there be culpability there? Possibly so. That being said, I want to remind folks first what we're talking about. Fred said that a man who goes by the name of Cotton, that we know his last name, Mr. Simpson, was involved with Summer getting gone. And that there's a hidden hole, per se, that... Um, is there near the Sensible Tunnel area in Tennessee. We all know that area very well due to what we spoke about, about it um, being haunted and uh, the numerous videos about that. That being said, there is even a news article going back around six years ago with video included where Mr. Cotton fell in to a different sinkhole on his property and it took seven different fire and rescue personnel being stuck with him to be able to get him out of that area during the massive fires that were going on. Is what Fred's saying, is it possible that it's true? Absolutely. Is it probable? I, I actually want to say yes. Remember when we talked about D Presents and we looked at the video that she had about Google around a month and a half ago now for the first time in almost two years changing what articles showed up when you typed in Missing Summer Wells and we went over that. That Google article was reported by multiple sources and Google refused to take it down, which is unusual for them. They said that it was authenticated. And within that article, it stated that TBI had found remains, had found What Google stated was that they weren't going to remove it because they had been able to authenticate it. Now, that article stated that remains had been found that were Summers. Is that possible? Absolutely. It actually would fit. If Fred is telling the truth, It that article and their refusal to remove it and what it stated would all fit together. D Presents told us that Google wouldn't take it down. Google said it was authentic. And based on what she knew and was told, some things would be coming to light. My question is, 
if, and this is what I would like y'all to discuss in the comment section, if Fred's telling the truth, then how did he come to this knowledge? And who else was involved in this scenario with Mr. Cotton? Allegedly. And why wait till now, Fred, to tell it? How many times have you talked to Ziggy? And it really makes me wonder because allegedly, according to a local, Fred took many cars off that hill that day. Trunks, back seats, all that would have been a great way to hide someone and get them off that hill. And they always do say the best way to hide something is in plain sight. Just food for thought. Because in my heart and in my mind, I want that justice for Summer. And I want her to be found alive. And I want her to be able to tell what was going on. I still firmly believe that CPS's visit had a lot to do with her disappearance. All my information has been telling me that CPS came because of Summer. Their visit was about Summer. Summer was who they wanted to see. My understanding and, and the accusations made by several locals is that it was because Summer was already supposed to have been enrolled in school. And she missed and was late by a year. Now, I know Ms. Catherine Morrison is going to come on up into the comments section and start talking junk. So let me say this to Catherine. I'm going to call you out the way I did in the comments section. Please direct all of us to where can we find the marriage license that Donald Wesley Wells has a junior on the end because the one that we've seen all over YouTube does not. Where can we find a birth certificate that says Donald Wesley Wells Jr. for Summer's father and Sr. for Summer's grandfather? Now, you're not going to find a birth certificate for him, of course, that says Sr. because he wasn't a senior. There wasn't a junior when he was born. And the funny thing is, when Summer's daddy was born, there still wasn't another Donald Wesley Wells. Don used an alias back in Texas when he was arrested. That doesn't make that his legal name. And several family members early on in Summer's case came out and said that Summer's father and half-brother both used Junior as a suffix to cause confusion and doubt when it came to legal issues. I will gladly admit wrong if someone can show me a legal document other than the taxes on the land that shows Junior as a suffix for Donald Wells, Summer's father. Peace, love, and light. Discuss all this in the comments and see y'all later tonight.